Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to the Albino Rhino Beer Review and the uh, Beer Giga. Uh, what up? Gee? Yeah, and the Gee Beer Reviews. Beer Giga? Yeah. You want to start that over? Okay? Uh, no. Okay. I don't want to start anything. All right. Fuck that shit. Start it now. <laughs> anyway, uh, what he's going to be drinking with me is this here. This is from Bellwoods on Ossington in Toronto. This is their Roman Candle IPA. So, 6.8% alcohol. They don't have their new labels yet because this, these are from February. We'll save some for the Ginger Snatch because she loves IPAs. Mm. <laughs> you just say you threw up? I said I'm going to. I didn't know me and Dee were that disgusting. Well, you did shit my mouth earlier, so. Mm -hmm. That was a good Shiza video. We'll make <laughs> lots of money. Um, nice color. Uh, not really what I expected from a pale ale, though. Uh, I would have expected a little bit darker myself. But it's a nice, I don't know, what, brassy? Very clear. I don't know. Yeah. Probably. Probably yellow. Uh, exactly. Oh, that smells good. nice. Lots and lots of citrus, but there's a, a little bit of like pine tar as well. Pine and grapefruit. Yep. Getting a little bit of passion fruit as well, which makes me think there's either Nelson Savine or Sum Summit in here. Other than that, I get, I get your telltale cascade hop smell, which could be a lot of different hops, but you know what I mean, the grapefruit smell. Yeah. And um, almost that centennial smell too, because you're getting that uh, you're getting that piney scent mixed in with the uh, with the citrus. Great smelling beer. It is a great smelling beer. Not as hoppy as I thought it was going to be by the scent. Smell better than it tastes. Mm -hmm. This is beer five for me from uh, from Bellwoods. I loved three of them. I wasn't too fond of the fourth. This one I like, but it's not anything special to me. Um, yeah, you could say that it's not as fresh, but I mean it's only it's only five or six weeks old now. Not five weeks, yeah. So, really, that's still pretty fresh, even in IPA terms. Um, it's like dry pine. Yeah, I'm, I do get a lot of the citrus fruit and a little bit of passion fruit, but they don't last very long, and then I get all just pine and and a bitter-lasting taste. Not not super bitter, not anything that's going to turn you off, but it's just there. It's on the, on your tongue. Almost, almost getting nothing in the sides of the tongue. It's mostly like the center and the back. Yep. Now, if I remember correctly, this is under under six bucks, or it's it's between six. It's between five seventy five and six seventy five. I don't remember exactly where the price point is, but it's also in the heart of Toronto. At that price, that's a great price for anything there. Yeah. Big bottles. Yeah, big 650 milliliter bottle. Uh, it, it's good, it's just not anything to blow you away. I mean, I'm not a hop head and I'm not blown away by it, so anyone that is a hop head probably would be even less inclined for it. I'm a hop head and it's kind of boring. Well, here. You don't like hops. I hate hops. <clears throat> it's there. I mean, uh... it's there. It smells really good. Yeah. It does, I won't take that away from it. It smells great. That's even too hoppy for, uh, for me. I hate hops. So bad. <laughs> oh, it bums me out. It's not terrible, though. No. 6.8% alcohol, under $7 for a bottle. It does, t it does have a flavor. 
Um, I don't know. I, I could see, I could see people a little further into hops than her really liking it. You know, people that are on like the third or fourth step IPAs. Like that aftertaste is horrendous, though. No, I love double IPAs and really hoppy beers, but I'm getting it's kind of boring to be honest. So what would you give it? Just the aftertaste is almost reminds me of Pilsner mixed with the IPA. It's kind of weird. So I go with 6.5 out of 10. 6.5? I'm, I'm a little bit higher than you, but not much. I'd give it a 6.75. I wouldn't buy it again, but I would have no problem drinking it. Yeah. It's the paying money for it that I wouldn't want to do again. Because it is. It's There's nothing special about it. There's nothing that draws me in. There's nothing... It's just drinkable. I and it's 6.8% alcohol, so it'll get you fucked. Oh, yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. Alrighty. 6.5, 6.75, Guy and Rhino. The Ottawa Niagara Connection. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>